Hi everyone, oh, welcome back to Three on a Third, hosted by Wonder and Dream of 555 here on YouTube. Everyone is participating will be in the description box below. I haven't made a card yet, or two cards, or three cards. Usually, you know, we'll have the two cards and then you, you and I will make one together. Today we're going to make one together and then I'm going to go off and then we're going to, I'm going to make the rest because I don't know. So anyway, I want to use this stamp set. I've been trying to figure out how to use this stamp set for a, a while. I got in a D stash um, a while back and I was like, this would be really cool to try and do what we're going to do. So we are, <laughs> this stamp set is not the authentic one, but it's by Dilusions and I got it in a D stash and um, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> I like Dilusions a lot. Uh, I like a lot of the Ranger artists, but the way my bank account is set up, it cannot compete with all the things that's being released. So whenever, not saying that I'm like always looking out for a dupe, but I was like, oh, I really want that. I've seen Wonder Dream of Five Five had a D session. I'm not sure she still has it up now, but. I was like, ooh, very tempting, but some of the stuff I already had, and I'm going through my supply stuff, and I have a bunch of copies of stuff already, duplicates, so I'm going to end up having to go through my own and get rid of stuff. So this is a snowman. I don't know how much coloring we're going to do today, because she's not ready for that, but what I think we're going to do is just make a faux background. Yeah, I'm going to make a faux background. If you don't know what a faux background is, it's a pretend background. Pretend. This is a 5 by 7 piece of uh, cardstock. So I'm going to repeat this pattern throughout. And when I finish it, I'm just going to... I'm not going to repeat it all the way. I'm going to... do it just like this so I'm gonna do the top portion here I'm gonna do the side the bottom and right here and I'm gonna stamp her out and I'm gonna fussy cut I'm gonna stamp her out color her up fussy cut and put her right on here so I'll do a few more of these with you all so you can see the mental process so now we're gonna put this right here oh or maybe yeah we'll do it up there I'm not too concerned about if I make any boo-boos or not I mean as long as they're not massive mistakes will be okay like that's gonna be fine Now they have other little pieces, but I don't want to um, put those in there. I guess because I don't want to color them up. So yeah, I'm going to do that. If you could actually see better then this should be no no issue no problem doing this I think probably a smarter thing would be to keep your paper 5 by or 10 by 7 and just make it all the way across and then cut it like that but I didn't do that I cut it down because I was going to just stamp directly on here but apparently That's not what my mental process is like. Uh uh. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. So we could turn them if we needed to. We don't. Hopefully, we don't. See, like right here, we're just going to do that. I 
I don't know if re-inking is really doing anything because I feel like because it's not it's a gray color it's not um black that it may not look as great or good but no worries now my only concern now is coloring up these dang images I think I'm gonna leave them black and white honestly to just keep you abreast of the situation I think we're gonna leave them black and white Let's see if I can get away with this. I even went on Pinterest when I first got this stamp set to be like, uh, what am I going to do with it? Because I have, it's a, another stamp set that she has released last year that I am very much wanting to purchase. And I was kind of hoping that they would have had a sale on it last year but they did not I know everyone is hurting for money so I can't be too like no sale where but the way my account is set up it would be great if I could get a sale you know that's all I'm saying That little corner was bugging me. Y'all probably knew that already, though, didn't you? All right, so let's see. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to stamp her out, color, and then fussy cut. And then I'm going to make, a th uh, I don't know. What I was going to say is I think we could probably put, like, her in a, to mat it up a little bit. But I don't know. we we'll have to see. We'll see when I finish stamping it and coloring it. All right, so I went ahead and stamped out all of the backgrounds. So we got one, two, three, three on the third, yeah. And this is the first one we did. So I just put him right there so we could have him covered up. It doesn't look like we made a boo-boo, but we really did, okay. And then I'll show you the other two because I haven't, we're putting, a, we're going to make a card together, but. I need to see this out a little bit for myself before we started messing around and this is the third one and so what I want to tell you all is that we're gonna go ahead and um, attempt to act like we know how to really make cards you see these little white lines right there we're gonna fix that now if it doesn't bug you no worries you don't even have to make sure it's the right stamp but because some people can be extra sometimes we're gonna fix that right we're gonna make it work for us and so that's the first one and now this is the last one the last one I, I learned from my mistakes I guess you could say and uh, yeah now if it's not gonna look right I'm not gonna do it because I don't feel like restamping this again and what I had said earlier about the um, inks make a difference I'll show you so I use the versifying gray it's called morning mist and then I use the mindless crafting hybrid ink intense black I stamped them out twice so I stamped this out twice So yeah, I did this one, this one, and then I stamped the third one out with this ink, and that's what we have here. And I was like, you know what, let's go with this ink because it's more uh, vibrant, intense, as they say. So I thought we could color together, and we're going to go ahead and color this one. Now this is a little frog right here, and so um, I pulled out all the colors that I thought would be really cool to use. Let's just clear up some stuff real quick. You know, I think that's one of the things about unique crafts. Sometimes you need some um, inspiration to make it work. So if you do find yourself 
crafting with a unique stamp or something that doesn't fit I think to just cutting it out if it's a die or stamping it out will help you it helped me I can say it helped me try to visualize this because I'm not gonna color the background but what I thought I would do with the background is um, just take some ink and just ink the edges up I think that would be good I do like those little stamps so I probably will make another card not anytime soon but with those stamps as the background and color those in and just put like a word that says like Merry Christmas or something on there because that would be a lot of coloring and because I want to be extra I probably have to get different colors and have the faces different and maybe fussy cut a few not fussy cut but cut out those little shapes the octagons and place them in different heights you know give them a little bit more dimension something to think about whenever you're buying crafts and I've been very very much more mindful of those things when I'm purchasing well as I've learned I can't say like oh I just recently started doing it <laughs> no I'm saying like over time as I've learned that not all crafts not all crafting things will work for me and not all crafting things should work for me unless I really get into it I learn how to do it and then I could you know go or go from there and be that person so we're just gonna color these holly leaves that's in this person's when I was coloring I was like okay this is just a headrest mask because all of this looks like it's just some type of decoration which is really cute I just started watching um, her presentations I haven't really wanted to watch anything lately when it comes to watching presenters present new product I used to watch a lot of another company but their customer service has dwindled some so I'm like ah, do I really want to deal with them and right now I, I just don't believe in supporting people that don't support you and I know that a big company can't support me but the customer service is what I need and I'm not getting it at all now I was thinking okay do you really want to fussy cut this out again because these earrings were a little bit on the mm -mm, we're not fussy cutting this out kind of situation <laughs> so we'll see we will see So I'm going to go ahead and finish coloring up all of them and then I'll first cut them out and we can piece them together. So I did the background. Um, unfortunately, you know how you have like those little slivers that be on there? Like you see, you may be able to see it right here, this little sliver. I had one on my hand somehow and so some of it made it onto the card. But anyway, cut the card down. I'm using blue envelope, uh, excuse me, card base it doesn't have an inside but I feel like I can just put a white piece on there if I choose to do a white piece of paper or a different paper I didn't want to do it right now anyway so we have a few more things to do we're going to use these stickers from the uh, Hobby Lobby for our sentiment oh and they're clear uh, uh oh I didn't know they were see through well, it kind of fits. We're going to use this like little hokey Merry Christmas, I think. 
I do like clear stickers, but sometimes the placement of a clear sticker is really important. Very important, right? Okay, and so now with her, we're going to go ahead and take out our Dollar Tree glitter marker. And we're going to just do a little bit of pop of glitter. It does write the color that you see green, so it's not like it's clear. And so I want to be mindful of that because I had did one whole piece and I didn't really care for it. As you can see, it has that shimmery in there now. And we're going to take her and pop her up. I think. All right, so that is our little first one. And I'll do the next one with you, and then we'll go back and look at all three of them. So I decided to do something uh, not as traditional, and I was thinking maybe the blue wouldn't look good, but the blue actually looks great. So I just thought that this would be really cool. She's a little punk rocker, right? I think that's what they call them, or still call them. That's what they called them doing. Back in my day, we're going to do this uh, Merry Christmas right here see these are looking a little bit not so great let's try this uh, joy to the world joy to the world looks a little bit better just gonna burnish it down with my finger some and see like I was saying we didn't need to cover everything because this headpiece is gonna do the work and I'm just using these little They don't really elevate, but they do a little bit of dimension. So I'm just rubbing it down to help transfer the glue. There we go. And one more. And just rubbing it down. So the glue can stick on. Now the bad part about fussy cutting and not having a die cut is that the earrings, I had to leave the earrings on a little bit more white around the earrings because I cut the earrings off the other lady and I was like, I don't want to cut them off of her because, you know, she has a unique, a different look, but this is how she looks. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll go ahead and finish all three real quick. All right, so here's our three on the third. Uh, blank on the inside, I need to just put a white sheet so people can write on it. This one says, ho, ho, ho. You can see it a little bit better. So that would be the only thing I have to keep in mind if I decide to use these clear stickers again. And you can see a little bit of the shimmer. I did use green because that one has all green. On this one, I wanted to do the non-traditional, like the pink and the purple. And so I just, I only have the purple marker so I use purple and I was thinking maybe I could just glue her earrings on right here right yeah we might just glue her earrings on because she look like you did all that work and you're not gonna put my earrings on ma'am I'm gonna put your earrings on okay uh, I'm gonna put her earrings on so I put the earrings on after the and then this is our other third third one the first one that we did but together semi I think we did some of all of them together and it's black on the inside, and that's how it looks. So I want to say thank you all for watching. Click on the description box. See what everyone else has created. I want to say thank you. Until next time, happy crafting.